Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. Do you want to sing with our family? Oh. And he called it our family. Mm. Do you want to sing with our family? And I said, and I looked at the girls. I said, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, you want to... Why don't you do that? Won't it be so much more fun? He said something like, it's going to be so much mm -hmm. more fun. Just something he'd say. We have so much more fun mm -hmm. where, where we, we are. It was just we. Mm -hmm. And I was oh. like, yeah. Yeah, wow. I do. And then within a week, Prince was knocking on my door and he was like, let's go. He, he, we went to my attorney to get out of my contract. Prince came with me to talk to my attorney to say like, we're going to get out of wow. this thing with Quincy, but you need to talk to Quincy. And Prince was super like, he was like, do it the right way, mm -hmm. which was really kind of unusual for him because yes. in the years later, that's not something he would have done yep. yeah. at all. But he came with me mm -hmm. and made sure it was done right and that it was oh, sweet and done because it was Quincy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I ended up calling Quincy that night after we'd gone to the attorney and had this long conversation with him. And he said, I can remember it perfectly. He was like, baby, if you cannot sleep at night, you need to go do this. And he said, frankly, I'd do the same thing. Wow. He said, he's the hottest thing there is right now. Go. Wow. And I was like, are you sure about this? And he was like, aren't you? That's and I was great. Like, yeah. And so, and that was, that was the beginning. Like at that point, something was shifting, mm -hmm. but then little did I know at that, at that point that it was not only, it was like, it was getting sort of very intimate between mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. sh shortly thereafter that. Wow. So, but that's how he, that's how I, he introduced the, my singing to him mm -hmm. because before that, Wendy had already gotten the gig with him. Mm -hmm. Right. So he was, and he was coming in and out of LA a lot mm -hmm. and we were, ha we were spending more time. He was coming around, around mm -hmm. a lot. And then he would spend the night at our house mm -hmm. and sleep on the couch and the cats would jump all over him in the middle of the night. And you'd hear, <laughs> Lisa, can you come get the cat? <laughs> and we were just like, nobody would get it. I can, get I can hear nobody that voice. Get we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> I can just Lisa. hear that. Can you come get the cat? <laughs> like you know, and there's saloon doors, like the cats, whatever. So it was like that's too funny. And if the bathroom had saloon doors, there were no proper doors in the entire place. Oh, no. So I I can't even remember. Like, did anyone have, like I'll we'll leave and go into the opposite side of the house if you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you have no privacy. Oh, there is no privacy. No. That is just too funny. Yeah, what a great so story. Had you. You hadn't even gone to Minneapolis yet, right? Had you even gone to Minneapolis no, yet? No, I hadn't. So, um, so you hadn't had that encounter with Vanity yet? No, my first encounter with Vanity was when I was working for David Geffen. Oh. Um, we had the Christmas party. Mm -hmm. This was the this was the Christmas before I met him. And this was shortly before I met, before oh, before he started coming wow. around. So she oh, met Denise. So you met her first. I met Denise and Prince first. Oh. So it was a Christmas party oh. and I was working for David Geffen. It was the Christmas party. And I went and got myself a dress. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, the most ridiculous outfit. I just, you know, I, whatever. I mean, it was, you know, super fat, chubby cheeked kid, whatever. <laughs> um, I was going to be 19 that January, so mm -hmm. I was 18. Mm. And so he was in the sort of mezzanine, if not the, the sort of like the entranceway to the Le Dome. Do you remember Le Dome? Of course. Okay. Oh, God. Sunset Boulevard. So he Boulevard. was standing, right. So he was oh. standing against the wall, <sighs> and she was standing behind him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And they were together. And I saw them from a distance and I went into the hallway to pick up the phone to call Wendy and Lisa and said, Prince is here right now. Should I say something to him? He's with mm -hmm. Vanity. And they were like, of course, go say hello to him. Mm -hmm. He's going to think it's weird because you look so much like Wendy. Mm -hmm. He may not really know how to just do it. Just do it. All right. So I said, okay. So I was like, okay, go for it. Go say hello. So as I'm walking towards him and looking at him, he's giving me that sort of like that look. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Right. Like, I know Wendy? you. 
Right, confused, confused. Oh, that's right. classic. I would love to be the and, fly on the wall. And I said, hi, I'm Susanna. I'm Wendy's twin sister. And I just wanted to introduce myself and say hello. Well, before he could say nice to meet you, she comes around Uh-oh. and comes up to me and she puts her hands on my face and she says, oh, look at how cute and chubby your cheeks are. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. Little did she know, mm-hmm. you know, that the future. And I was like, nice to meet you. And I was like, I just wanted to say hello. And I put my hand out to shake his hand. Yeah. And I walked away, called the girls. And I was like, dude, you cannot believe what you know, Vanity just did. And she was like, oh, God. So... <laughs> <laughs> that it started sort of like he started coming out more mm-hmm. around that and then they were starting to record Purple Rain mm-hmm. soundtrack because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that was before they you guys went even into rehearsals mm-hmm. which were that coming that summer that next summer because mm-hmm. everything was recorded mm-hmm. before that mm-hmm. yeah so he started sort of like Coming in and out, and that that was the whole thing with the uh, that happened. The, the 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 Quincy thing happened within this period of time right. where he started coming in and out, and that he'd asked me and the girls to come down to the studio to do some overdubs, mm-hmm. particularly Wendy and Lisa to do mm-hmm. some overdubs. But bring Susanna with you. Um, you guys can sing background on "Baby I'm a Star." Mm-hmm. So. That was the first thing I did. Wow. Welcome to my podcast, Apollonia Studio 6. 